Hey fam, it's Tiffany Jordan, regional education trainer. Welcome to the Mac channel. Today's look is all about playing in neutrals, beautiful new shine formula, keeping it soft but sultry. Let's get to it. First, insurance. I'm going to use the 24 hour eye base, which I love so much. I'm gonna go with actually a big brush, which is the 240, not traditional. So I'm just gonna kind of load this up, be generous and just go right onto the lid. Now in the camera, you're not gonna see a ton of the effect, but that's what you want. With this product, if you see it, you've gone too far. The effect is like a soft mat. So now let's go into the shadow. We're gonna keep the same bossy brush cause I'm a bossy lady. I'm gonna go into this beautiful neutral palette that I have. I have some cool tones, some warm, nice and neutral. I'm gonna go in with that same big brush, the 240 into the espresso color. I'm gonna load it pretty generously. So starting that center, so you're gonna see some, some energy and some depth behind that color because it can go from zero to 60. But if we take our time with it, we can smooth it out and coast and keep it nice and easy. And just see how that just frames the eye just so softly. A nice natural shadow. It's almost as if we're contouring the eye, but in the most gentle way possible just to enhance the features. I'm not looking to reshape the eye. I like my eye shape. With this color, if you're not careful, you can go darker than you intend to. So with this brush, because it is big and bossy, really look at that brush fiber and let that really just be as straight as possible and just whisper the brush across the skin. Because once I flatten it out and put more pressure, it's gonna go darker than I want it to. So be gentle. And I feel good with that. What do you think? I wanna add one more color, which we're gonna go right into this color right here, which is called Uninterrupted. Same brush, and I'm gonna go a little bit higher. So right on the bone where we have uh, leading right into the brow. I'm gonna keep it nice and easy, and I love it to look more skin-like. And some of my natural skin to peek through. Now that we have our beautiful blown out color, Let's add a little bit more detail into uh, the accent or the corner of the eye. I'm gonna go in with the brush 224, which still has this beautiful uh, tapered flower tip like the 240, but she's on the keto diet. She a little skinty. And instead of doing the espresso separately from the uninterrupted, we're gonna cocktail now. So be free. So we're just gonna dip and dab. I'm just gonna take my 224, and hit right on the outside corner. Now this is where I want some pressure. So as before, I kept it soft and straight. I don't mind it bending a little bit more here because then I'm gonna get that beautiful concentration of color there. And instead of going in those big sweeping motions, we're gonna keep it nice and tight. You can go into circles, you can do side to side. That is your preference. I like to do a mixture of a both. It's a new technique, it's the zigzag. You didn't know, right? So on this eye, I've added a little bit more, same color tones, but using a smaller brush with the 224 for that second layer, which is really nice and intense. And on this eye is the 240 to give it that soft whisper of color. We should probably do the other side. We're almost done, just a little bit more blending. And I just love this new formula. It's just, it's so soft. You get this beautiful kind of velvety finish. It, I find that my blend time is cut down and it's just easy. Now that I've set the mood with my matte shadows, I wanna go in with some shimmer using our Dazzle Liquid Eyeshadow. I love these so much because they're easy color, easy shine with a little bit of glitter, no fallout, so it's easy. I'm gonna use that big 240 brush again. So I wanna load this product onto my brush because I want more control and I don't want it to be as opaque. I want dancing shimmer and I want that to feel more loose throughout the eye. Starting with the center of my eye, I'm going to gently just sweep this color through the lid, focusing on the center and extending through the inner corner. And depending on how much dancing light you want, that is up to your discretion. I'm gonna go through the entire lid and slightly onto the crease. And then you have this beautiful, soft, dazzling, twinkle starlight on your eyes. I mean, I mean, 
I'm feeling, I'm feeling the starry night. Let's add to this. I think we can use more shine. So let's use the extra dimension shadow. Sweet heat. I'm not that sweet, but I am fire. So let's get into it. So 240, be generous. I wanna concentrate my shimmer more into the center. And yes. Look at that lift that we are creating with that shine. And I know I keep saying shine and lift. I'm probably stressing you out. Do you see there is shine over matte? We're breaking rules. I'm putting shimmer over matte. Come for me. Do you see the shine? This beautiful satiny glow? Living. Extra Dimension is the only one that can give this beautiful look. And if you want to intensify it, you can use it wet in addition to us today using it dry. So we have time. Let's add one more layer of shine. But we're gonna go full molten, full metallic in our Dazzle Shadow Extreme. Yes to sequins, because who doesn't love a sequin? So I'm going in with my 224 brush. I need to have a little bit more control. To intensify my shine, I'm introducing OG Fix Plus, your tried and true best friend. We're just gonna focus this right in the center, a little lower to the lash line, and a little bit more of a tapping motion, and letting it be more intense, more concentrated. I mean, you see it, hot. All the shine, I mean, look, look at that. Like, I love this, but now I'm in love with this. Y'all, do you see, like look at the shine and what I'm noticing in the mirror is there, the look has a gold base, but as I tilt in the light, that beautiful pink rose gold accent, honey, against my skin tone, it was made for me. Is this called Yes to Tiffany? Game changer. You not ready, she ready. You not ready. Now I'm gonna frame the eye with my favorite eye coal, Costa Riche. Let's line this eye. Start at the outer corner. I just want to create a little bit of depth around the lash line. Look at the warmth that it adds because our base of browns were more neutral. I'm gonna add a little bit more of my flirty warmth color in this eye coal. I want to keep it tight to the lash line but I'm not trying to be particular. And I want to frame the bottom, focusing more in the waterline. I don't want this eye to become a traditional smoky eye. I just want to live in the flirty, sultry vibes that this eye is giving me. Look how mean. So you can see just adding that beautiful warmth, the beautiful pink in the shadow pops, and the almond shape of my eye feels lifted and beautiful. Let's do the other side. Finish the liner. Now I'm going to dress these lashes with my favorite mascara, Extended Play Giga Black. And I, I love this mascara. First of all, because the wand, she is skinty and little like me, but little things pack powerful punches. This mascara, while she might be tiny, is still bossy. I'm not looking for a lot of length because I'm not trying to redefine my lashes. Just give them some personality. And because of that, I like to take the brush and use it vertically. And I love to separate into their own little individualized bundles so that there is a little bit of space. So while I don't have length, there is an interest and a look to my lash. Again, I have bottom short lashes. This mascara is so good for bottom because it won't smudge. It doesn't give me that extra smoky eye that I didn't ask for later in the day. It's an obedient mascara. She stays in place. Here's the look, sparkly, feeling like sequins, have all the shine. I'm ready to go somewhere. I'm gonna find somewhere to go because this eye needs a date. I had so much fun today playing with this neutral palette, the new shadow formulas, all of the things that were shiny and stunning. So if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, because you don't want to miss out. Bye.